Well, there may not even, regular folks here may not even see much of a difference come out of this. This just means that it, the governor would have a little less power than he does already have right now. McGeorge School of Law professor Leslie Gilo Jacobs says the state of emergency allows the governor to do things like issuing rules and mandates, the color coded tier system, and granting contracts that would typically go through an agency. It also frees up the ability to get more federal funding. Often uh, the governor chooses to keep those in effect because it gives the possibility of getting things like uh, federal aid. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to do that. So the legislature would have to think about those things. The response to COVID-19, uh, you know, is handled better by local communities as opposed to the state simply dictating everything uh, for 40 million people. Really one uh, person, the governor, dictating things for 40 million people. But we've now reached the point where it's just become a point of absurdity. And you just heard from Republican Assembly member Kevin Kiley out of Rockland, who said he is planning to make a motion to the floor of the assembly for a vote later on today. Now, on the other side of things, the Yellow County Health and Human Services Department said the state can declare the emergency is over, but local governments can still maintain their emergency declarations. So a change at the state level would have little practical effect on Yolo County's ongoing approach to the COVID-19 pandemic pandemic with our local emergency in place. Now, lawmakers here at the Capitol will be holding a press conference about this coming up this morning at 8 o'clock before going inside to ask for that motion. We will let you know what happens. Okay, that's Lena. She is live at the State Capitol.